Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a good old fashioned favorites video telling you guys what I've been loving over the past few months because it's actually been an entire year since I filmed a favorites video and they're one of my favorite kind of videos to watch and I just find them really nice to film. It's kind of like a nice way to catch up and just share what I've been loving and things that maybe I've been wearing in posts and if you've been curious about. So I'll link everything in the description description box, but I'm also really excited to share with you some new home decor that I've recently picked up and I haven't shared anywhere else, so stay tuned for that. Starting out with some wellness picks because I've been getting more and more into wellness as I'm going to physical therapy for an injury and just working to really better my entire self from the inside out because I'm also working with a doctor right now to heal my gut from some pretty not so great bacteria that we found. So in general, my word of the year is balance and I'm really trying to incorporate wellness into my everyday life. So here are some things that are helping me along with this journey and just making it more of an enjoyable process. When it comes to working out or going to physical therapy, I am a huge fan of Viore workout clothes. I have actually been a fan for a really long time. My sister introduced me to the brand, but they were actually kind enough to sponsor today's video. So I am gonna show you my favorite outfits from Viore that I wear all the time and link them in the description if you are interested. I have two pairs of their leggings. These are probably my favorite thing from Viore because they're just incredibly high quality. You can just tell the material is really thick. They have a nice wide waistband, which I just find really flattering. And they even have a pocket on the inside if you wanted to bring your keys with you or your credit card if you're like going on a run. Of course, I also have the matching sports bra because we all love having a matching set. It just makes you feel like you have your life together. But I also love wearing one of their kind of like loose long sleeves when I'm working out or going to physical therapy because it's just nice to have like a little extra layer of comfort. Um, if you're doing something low impact, sometimes it's like cold in the room before you start working out and getting warm and it is really soft and amazing as well. I highly recommend Viore. I think they are such an awesome brand to support that makes really high quality clothes and also care about the sustainability of their clothes. My mom and sister are also huge fans. They really love their joggers. So if you're a fan of joggers, I can also link those below. But yeah, thank you so much to Viore for sponsoring today's video. I I love your clothes. And now to get on to the rest of my favorites. While we're on the topic of working out still, I highly recommend having a CBD bomb. I love this one and I'll try to link it below. It's from a boutique in LA, so I will do my best. But in general, having a CBD bomb, if you are either injured or if you just do a lot of heavy duty workouts and you experience a lot of muscle soreness, this has changed my life. It is so soothing and it really just relaxes your muscles. So I put this on my shoulders where I'm injured all the time, especially after PT, if it's like a really heavy duty session and it helps a ton. And I had no idea how much I needed this in my life. Next up, I wanted to mention the Seed Symbiotic. This is is a pre and probiotic and I've had this for a while but was really bad about taking it consistently and now that I'm taking my gut health more seriously and on like a massive supplement and probiotic protocol I have been taking this every day to capsules and I highly recommend it. It's really important to be taking care of your gut health and ingesting good bacteria to fight off bad bacteria. So that is something that I have been really taking seriously and my doctor highly recommended it and I already had it on hand. I also have been drinking a lot of tea because it has been raining and I just got a new kettle, which I'm obsessed with. I can show you guys that later, but I've been drinking a lot of this lemon ginger tea that has probiotics for healthy digestion and it tastes really good. I bought it because it's lemon ginger and I love lemon ginger, so probiotics. We love those guys. I've been trying to get more into adaptogens and one of my ways of doing that is this delicious Four Sigmatic Mushroom Cacao Mix. 
It tastes like hot cocoa and it has adaptogens, which are different mushrooms and organisms that help you adapt to stress. And they're supposed to be really good for you and good for your brain and different functions like focus. So this is one of my favorites. It tastes really good. I got it at a influencer event and it's perfect for when you feel like drinking a latte at 4 p.m., but it's 4 p.m. and you shouldn't be drinking caffeine. Now for a couple skincare favorites before I get up and show you my clothing favorites, which are now on my clothing rack, which is a new addition to the apartment that I have needed for a long time. <laughs> Because it's winter, I have switched my moisturizer over to a thicker one, and this is the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. Oh my god, I didn't even think about the fact this has adaptogens in it. Apparently they're good for your skin too. So this is just a really heavy duty moisturizer that doesn't leave me feeling greasy, doesn't break me out. I've been using this for at least a month now and we've had no issues. I love everything from Youth to the People because their products come in glass so you can recycle the packaging and they just have really good brand ethics and it has helped a lot with flaky patches and dryness and for controlling breakouts i have been loving the rail beauty patches they have small ones for you know specific pimples but they also have these absolutely massive ones it's called the miracle patch and it's large enough to stick across your entire chin your whole cheekbone and it's perfect because sometimes your zits will come in like a cluster and this will get all of them i just had to share these because if you didn't know these existed they're pretty awesome now that we're at my clothing rack i thought i would share some style things that i've been loving starting out with this vest i also have a plain black vest it's a little bit harder to see but this has been one of my absolute favorite trends that i really think is going to stick around at least for me i just really love the look of it this one i thrifted for six dollars here is the back it's so cute. They're super easy to thrift because it's like a menswear staple, but you can also find them at like a lot of brands right now. This one is from Anthropology. If you're looking for like a really nice new one, I really love this one. I wear it all the time. Next up, I am so excited about this piece. I thrifted it on Depop and it is a skirt from Sandy Lang. I wanted something from her clothing line forever and I love this piece. I've been looking for a denim midi skirt for a long time and the fact that this has like a slit and a little d-ring I think just makes it way cooler so this is something I know I will be wearing for a very long time um, even though I just got it recently you can just feel when something is about to become like an absolute pillar of your wardrobe and that is what this feels like to me and I just love it this I probably should have included in the wellness category but it is my robe it's from the brand Dussin Dussin, which makes amazing home goods and my sister got this for me for Christmas and it has improved my life so much I just walk around my house in my robe, make dinner in my robe, chill out in my robe. You can do anything in a robe, especially when you live alone. It is just, it's a must. And I think this one is super cute. It just makes me so happy. I know it's not really like a style favorite, but maybe it can be. I have to mention my Vagabond Shoemakers loafers. These are everything to me. I wear them almost every day of the week. They are so comfortable. They took no time to break in and they go with every single outfit. And then I also got this incredible pair of square toed boots from Mista on sale, like after the holidays. And these are incredible. I really feel like mid calf boots are gonna be in for 2022. I mean, they're already in. Um, and so I wanted to own a pair and I love the square toe. They fit perfectly. I got these in, let's see, what size are you? They are a 38. Um, so if you're a seven and a half, these should fit, but if you're an eight, they will be too tight, just FYI. Now I have just a couple home goods items, but the first has to be my brand new 
very old vintage lamp that is behind me. I am gonna show you what it looks like when it's turned on. It has three different settings and it is just spectacular. I will write in the description box the style of the lamp if you're interested in trying to find one yourself, but I'll also link the vintage seller who sold it to me, which is at Rehomo Shop on Instagram. They also sold me my amazing laminate desk that I am so in love with. So yeah, just expanding my vintage collection one piece at a time. I couldn't be more obsessed with this lamp. Next up, speaking of secondhand goods, I have a ton of coffee table books and I just thought I would share some of my favorite titles that I have really enjoyed flipping through as well as just having on display. And I got all of these from The Real Real actually because they have home goods and they have books. But you can also look up any of these titles on eBay as well as Amazon. I'm pretty sure they have a secondhand seller option. Um, just because coffee table books tend to be expensive because they're heavy, but they just look so nice and no one's gonna notice if the edges are like not perfectly crisp, you know? This is the fashion book and this is the publisher. I don't know how to pronounce that, but they have a ton of awesome books. So if you just put that into really any search bar when it comes to finding books, you're off to a great start. This just has a ton of vintage fashion and designers in it. So you can really learn a lot uh, just flipping through this. Same publisher, this is Fashion Today. And this one mostly has photos in it that are super cool, really inspiring. If you like fashion or your friend does, this is a great book for them. Also from that publisher, I have this book, which is about Dieter Rams, who is an influential uh, product designer. So in here you have a lot of products and you know, the dimensions for them and the story of how they were created, which is more of a designer nerd book. Um, so that is great if you know one of those. Next up, I have Color and Fire, which is about defining moments in studio ceramics. So if you like ceramics, you can learn a lot and just get inspired looking at old pieces in here. This details the works of Karsten Haller. So this is an art book and it has like art exhibitions inside, but I mostly bought it for the cover, which I just think is really beautiful and interesting. And then these last two books are about homes and architecture. And that is another subject that I love reading about and just admiring like this book is really spectacular. I could stare at this all day. This is the home upgrade. And then this little one is Case Study Houses by Tashin, another awesome publisher of beautiful books. And I love everything in this book. It is so inspiring as someone that is like a design enthusiast. There is just so much goodness in here. And like, even look at that, there's my coffee table. And that is it in its vintage setting in 1947, which is just so cool to see and learn about and just feel connected to the past through beautiful design. And then I also wanted to mention just like a couple other home goods I've gotten recently. I got this vegan leather little catch-all to like throw my keys on and it is perfect. It is from the brand Gather. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I will link it below. I love a good tray. And lastly, I mentioned that I got a new kettle and if you are a design enthusiast like me, you will love this kettle. It is from Fellow and it just has to be the most beautiful, tea kettle I've ever seen in my life. I got it from my boyfriend for Christmas and every time I use it, it just elevates the tea experience. So if you're looking for a nice kettle or a nice gift, definitely check them out. That is today's video all about what I've currently been loving. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to switch it up a little bit from all the vlogs I've been posting because I really enjoy sitting down and filming more sit down content and things with a little bit more structure. So let me know what you guys think and definitely check out Viore if you're interested in any of the pieces I tried on. They will be linked in the description and I will see you with some new content very soon. Bye guys.